In this tutorial, I'll be explaining more about AWS Lambda triggers. So what are actually Lambda triggers? DynamoDB is an AWS product just like AWS Lambda, and therefore you're able to create triggers with ease using those two services. Triggers are pieces of code that will automatically respond to any events in DynamoDB streams. Triggers will allow you to build applications which will then react to any data modification made in your tables. By enabling this on, ta on a table, you will be able to associate an ARN with your Lambda function. Instantly, after any item in the table is modified, a new record will appear in the table stream. When AWS Lambda detects a new stream record, it will invoke your Lambda function synchronously. Lambda functions are able to perform any actions you specify, like sending notifications or a workflow initiation. A simple example of that would be if we suppose you have a mobile gaming application that's writing on a game score table. So every time the top score attribute of the game scores table is updated, a corresponding stream record will be written to the table stream. This means that this event can trigger a Lambda function that will post a message of social media sites. So guys, how do you add triggers to your Lambda function? You go to functions, you click on one of the already existing functions. This will take you to the settings of the function where you can go to configuration, permissions or monitoring. So we're aiming to find conf configuration. From there, we will find the following fields that will be loading right now. We've got for the designer, API Gateway having an Add Trigger button right below it. So let's first learn what is an event-driven Lambda and how to trigger it. Up until recently, the knowledge of triggering Lambda functions was based around using API Gateway as a trigger, but that's not entirely true. Lambda will be triggered even if an event happens. Events can be anything really. For a Lambda function to occur and execute, an event must first occur. Lambda can be triggered uh, by another Lambda directly. So to be able to connect two Lambdas together, what you need to do is make the first Lambda generate an event that the second Lambda will understand in order to be triggered. So there are three ways to trigger your Lambda. First off, you can use the API gateway event. Second, you can use the S3 events. And third is using the DynamoDB events. Now, essentially, AWS Lambda triggers are merely actions caused by specific events that will further trigger the Lambda function. For a Lambda function to be executed, something in this case triggers need to jumpstart it. Leaving your case, you'd like to leave your mark on this topic will be, of course, helpful. So guys, what is an API gateway trigger? You can go ahead and click on the button Add Trigger located right over here. For a trigger configuration, you simply select a trigger of your choice. You can use an API gateway, an application load balancer, CloudWatch logs, whatever you want, and select it as a trigger for your function. And then you simply click on Add. So whenever this trigger occurs, an action calls your Lambda function and it will uh, take place and start...